Welcome to part four of Photograph as played by Sangha Jung. This is the chorus part, what everyone's been waiting for. Uh, it's also the hardest part, so I'd advise you to have a uh, window open with the full tabs. I know I put them on the screen, but I'd still, you know, it'd still probably be better to have the whole thing together. So I have the link of that in the description, and they're just on Songster. So anyway, we'll end uh, the last one with this bit. Okay, and this one starts with... So the 32nd measure, other than the, we start with, which is first on the G, open B and open high E. Hit that twice, slap the second time. Okay, then 33 goes. So you have second of the G, open B and second of the high E. And then you move these two fingers up two frets. So you have the fourth of the G and fourth of the E. Then you hit the low E, open. You slap. And then you go which is open low E, fourth of the G, open low E again, and then slap. Okay, and then on 34 we have this really funky chord, it's kind of uh, tough to get. So you start with the open E, and then you have six on the A, six on the G, seven on the B, and four on the high E. Really funky chord, kind of hard to get, but it's right here. These are the fingers I use. So I use uh, middle finger, ring finger, pinky, and then index. So you go low E, and then you hit all of those notes. And then you just hit the top three. So with the beginning part. I kind of don't hit the top notes on the first one, but in the tabs it has you hit all of them twice. Then you slap. And then you go to this. So fourth on the low E, I wrap around on my thumb, but you could bar it, I guess. Um, fifth on the G, and fourth on the B and the high E. And then you hammer on to the fifth of the high E. So with that funky chord you have... Okay, and then you hit the fourth of the E, and then the seventh of the B with the slap. Kind of a hard slap to get right there. I mute all the strings, or I try to, with my left hand. Then I kind of just strum down. So, 34 slowly sounds like this. Again, the slap on the seventh is kind of hard. Like that. Okay, and then you have 35, which is... Kind of like that. So you start with the fifth of the uh, B. Then you have... I, I think of it as a D major shape, but you bar with your index finger because you have fourth of the A, fourth of the G, fifth of the B, and fourth of the high E. So it's basically a D major shape, but you bar so you can get the fourth of the A. So you have... And then you slap. And then you hit the fourth of the A again. You break the D shape and you go to a... This kind of shape, which is fourth of the A, sixth of the D, fourth of the G, and seventh of the B. Kind of weird, but 
you still bar it. So, and then you slap after that. So 35 sounds like this. Okay, and then 36 sounds like this. Like that. So you have an open A to start. And then you have this chord here. Second on the A. I bar the second with my index finger. And you have second of the G, third on the B and fourth on the E. So, open A, that chord. And then you hit just the top three notes. You slap. Fifth on the E. And then you do. Which is fourth on the uh, G. Third on the B. Fourth on the uh, high E. You hit that. And then you slap and pull off to the second of the E. So I use my um, index finger on the second of the E. It took me a little while to figure out how to play this one right, but. Kind of do like a, a staircase. And then. So 36 sounds like this. Like that. Okay. Now moving on to 37, we have. Like that. It's probably the easiest measure of all of this. So you have open E, then you have fourth on the E, and second on the uh, B and the G. So, then open A, then slap, and then you hit the open A three times, and on the second time you also hit the uh, second of the, uh, the G, B, and E. So, okay, you slap after that, then you have, on 38 you have open A, 6th of the G, and then fourth of the E with the open B. And you slap. Fifth of the E. And then you hit the uh, that kind of chord that you had before, the fourth of the E, open B, and six on the G. Kind of sounds weird. So. Then you have this part. Kind of tricky. You also have to, it's the same slap with the seventh of the B. But you also have to do a little slide. So you have seventh of the B, you slap, you go up to the eighth, back to the seventh. And then you have this chord here, which is fifth of the E, fifth of the G, and open um, B and E. And uh, you also have to hit the fifth of the D, so I would recommend doing that, having three fingers there on the fifth fret. So you have fifth of the E, D, and G, open B and E. So. You hit the top three with the bottom. Then you hit the D string. And then you hit the D string and the G string with a slap. So. And then you hit the low E. So it's like. And then you hit the open. B and E, then you slap. So 38 and 39 really slowly sound like this, if I can do it right.
like that. It's kind of a weird. But that's how it sounds like. Okay, and then lastly, you have this bit. Open A, hammer on to the fifth of the A. Then you have this chord, fifth on the A, fourth on the D, fifth on the G, and fifth on the B. You hit the top notes of the chord, you slap, then you hit all the notes of the chord. Then after that, you go back, you repeat the whole thing over. There is one variation in this one, which is um, on measure 48, when you're supposed to be doing the or that normal hammer-on. This time, you do the hammer-on, you hit the top notes of the chord, you slap, and then you have kind of a weird weird chord there. So you have five on the A, four on the D, five on the G, and four on the B. I just bar the fourth fret. And um, so you start with the normal shape, you bar it and you take off what I use as my pinky. So the fifth of the B string becomes the fourth of the B string. Kind of weird. I, I almost prefer to go which is just barring the whole thing and taking off the fifth fret also on the, uh, the G string. But the tab says, okay. And then you go back and it kind of starts over again. There's a little bit of a difference and I'll teach that in the next part. So that's gonna be it for this lesson. I hope it wasn't too confusing. It's kind of a tricky chorus, but just follow the tabs on Songster or on the screen and hopefully you can find your way around it. Um, I'm going to play it slowly. Hopefully it helps. But uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.